So I just got involved in the environmental education community in BC at a time when I really needed to question what it meant to be a teacher. Uh, and at a time where I was with this amazing, stimulating network of people who were really interested in thinking about how systems change in education could lead to systems change uh, in the world. And uh, that was just a really heady and exciting place to be. I had all these ideas about all these incredible community educators in our community and people weren't accessing them and when I said that to Selena she says well there's a there's a model for that and it's called classrooms to communities. How can we not just work with one partner who shares the care for that topic and connection locally? How can we make connections to more of them locally to support their work, to grow their work, to connect their work? Awesome. My vision for C2C is a truly provincial network. BC is a vast province, and so we've discovered that the, the strategy is much more localized, perhaps regionalized when we have critical mass or real excitement and growing uh, motivation and inspiration in a particular region like here in the Columbia Basin. In Metro Vancouver as well, and Vancouver Island, we're feeling it in the north of BC. How can we support those communities, those regions to really self-organize with our support with our mentorship to grow those leaders to really make change in their communities. And then as a, as a province to really come together. We're supporting teachers to connect with one another to, to celebrate how best they've built the bridges to their communities to inspire one another and to work together uh, to support those connections to happen. This is a time of great change, of transformational change, I believe. Uh, we have a new curriculum in BC. Uh, there's also an appetite for that change in our schools, in our communities. And what we're seeing, I, I believe, is uh, that connectedness of school and community where in schools the, the walls disappear. And so we've got the community educators and we've got uh, the classroom teachers and the, the teacher leaders. And then we even have some district administrators here. And so we actually have the triangle in action uh, that the ministry wanted when they were talking about curriculum. It's here, right now. The yeah. curriculum overall is great. I, I hear kids talking about sustainability and climate change all the time. I know that when we do a, a school renovation project, um, we always tell the school, get the kids working on the energy management systems of this building, get them designing the environmental systems in the building, you know, how to, how to reduce waste, because there couldn't be a better project on that. Uh, but I think thanks to good teachers, we have kids working on so many interesting areas around environmental sustainability. We've seen an explosion of, of people feeling like they have permission and feeling like they have support of their colleagues and of uh, the various organizations and groups that are involved in C2C to help them to, to make this kind of work happen, especially in the context of the redesigned curriculum. So we're seeing that people are feeling like this type of work is really legitimized. Place-based learning is at the core of our new curriculum. And we also know that the First Peoples Principles are very much a foundation of the new curriculum. And place and the First Peoples Principles are like one. We have a creation story that speaks to uh, human beings' responsibility and, and stewardship role for all living things, right? Bringing people together, Indigenous and non-Indigenous together, to understand um, the, the knowledge base, the foundations of our understandings of Akamas Guppy Cups and means understanding that we have an inherent responsibility uh, to work together as human beings, that we've been um, tasked with the responsibility for stewardship for, for all living beings, and that means we have to learn from each other. And so with those in mind and the connections to inquiry-based learning, the core competencies, we know that teachers are trying to find ways that are, are powerful, but also more efficient, more effective ultimately more transformative for their students. And so we see our network as one way to provide that, to help them to see those connections and become part of a movement that can really transform their practice and potentially our education system.
because honestly there are a lot of challenges for teachers uh, in engaging in what has traditionally been the field trip or the field study. Um, and so we need to rethink the field trip. It's not a field trip. It's a community learning space and it ought to be sustained and it ought to be repetitive and it ought to be authentic uh, and it ought to be connected to the lives of the students who are actually learning it. Than that, you don't have to be an expert. You can go outside, you can be in a place and really starting to feel the shift of it's not just about being outside and learning, but it's about making those community connections and those place connections and really being present to being what being conscious of what we are learning and doing when we are in these amazing places. All educators do this. All educators teach in place. Uh, they connect to subjects and topics uh, and, and core competencies that are used in places every day. And the parents just absolutely love it. They, they look forward to finding out who their teachers are and holding them accountable to taking their kids outside based on the previous year's experiences. The student engagement is incredible and we know it's working and we just want to continue to make this happen. I see classrooms to communities as a vision for education in the future. I see it uh, as a way for us to educate students that is going to lead to the kind of changes that we need um, to live in a more just and a more sustainable society um, that's going to still be there and still be safe for my children and my grandchildren. Uh, so I see it as part, you know, it's an exciting way to teach, but it's also part of a a big structural shift in society. Everybody's beginning to realize that this is just like the new reality of education and um, just want to support educators in any way they can.